This is Reaper. This is the AV Linux Black Pearl drum kit within Reaper. And here are some open source plugins you're probably not aware of on Linux. These effects are known as JS effects, originally developed by the same folks who brought us Reaper. Although JS effects scripting language is open source uh, by nature, you can go ahead and edit any JSFX plugins within Reaper. You may not be aware, these can also be loaded in other Linux programs. So let's talk about that a little bit. If you have a recent version of the KX Studio package, Carla, you can load JSFX directly within it. If I flip back over to Reaper, you can see this plugin here. So we'll look for that plugin in Carla. And there you see it. Now, one issue here is if I try to open up a user interface, all I have are the parameters. For some of the JS effects, this is going to be fine. All you need are the parameters. But for some effects where they're a little more visual, such as a graphic EQ, or this plugin that I loaded here, you may actually want to have the full user interface. See, I can't access any of this configuration from just the parameters. So what I need to do is install a package that loads JSFX in a VSD3 wrapper. And that package is called YSFX. You can find that on GitHub. I'll put a link in the description. At the time of this recording, uh, the Linux package for this doesn't build, so you'll have to go ahead and build that. And there's some dependencies here. You'll need to make sure you have Git and CMake installed. As long as you do, you should be able to build uh, this VST. So we'll simply copy and paste these commands into the terminal. They're pretty short. You could just type them as well. And this here is just going to update all the dependencies. Once that's done, we will make our build directory and then change directory into that build directory. Set up our build environment. And the last thing we'll do is actually uh, build the plugin. You can see uh, linked at the bottom of this GitHub page, there are a few other GitHub repos of some projects that have some really unique and interesting JS effects that you can load. You can download those and, and just put them on any folder in your computer. You don't necessarily have to um, install those in the default Reaper uh, directory. So anybody can use these. They're all freely available and open source. As a last step, I'll go ahead and paste in the build command and we'll let this compile. It'll take some time, so I'll come back to you in a bit after this is finished. All right, and the build just wrapped up. So what we'll do now, you can see the um, builds have been put into our VST three directory so we should be able to just rescan from within whatever software we're using and be able to use the YSFX VSD3 plugin so let's try that right now with uh, Carla I'll click over to Carla Carla and just go into add a new plugin and I will click refresh 
And just make sure I have JS effects. Uh, oh, sorry, not JS effects, but VST3 highlighted there. Select VST3 for the filter on the side and look up YS effects. There it is. So I can load this. And let's take a look at the patch bay. You can see it gives us quite a number of inputs and outputs. I'm sure that's handy if you know the JS effects that we're using uh, happen to have a lot of outputs or inputs. For this one, it's just the two uh, audio inputs and audio outputs. I'm actually just going to use one input. We'll see if that works. I believe I'll just use one um, and then pipe the two audio outputs into my hardware. Sorry, I just have to move things around here a little bit with Carla. And find my input. That would be the left channel. Okay. And then we'll just make sure that's also going to my hardware output, not just the recorder. Perfect. One and two should correspond to left and right channels. Right on. And then I will go ahead and load a plugin. So I'll just try and load the same plugin I loaded before directly within Carla. Uh, but this time I should have a user interface that I can that I can use. So go into the correct directory for that plugin. There we go. Click OK. And there it is. All right, now I should be able to play with the keyboard. And now you can hear it. Wonderful. I can do some settings in here too. Yeah. Maybe I'll just leave this going for a little bit and then just shift the camera a little bit. But yeah, aside from the uh, feedback that you're hearing, so I can really change the target just a little bit and maybe I'll... Well, it's a little bit sensitive. I could add a gate before that or something, but the point is... Um, I can load any of the JS effects right here at this point if I want to. Yeah, so that's how that would look through Carla. And this could also be loaded uh, within other programs, you know. So if I wanted to load up some of the JS effects that I have loaded, uh, previously for Reaper, um, but load them within, say, an Ardor session, I can do that as well. So let's just start a new Ardor session. And I'll just demonstrate that quickly here. So I'll add a new track, just an audio track. Doesn't really matter too much. I'm not going to be doing anything with this, but I just want to demonstrate that I can load these plugins. Now, if I look up YSFX right away, it's not going to show up uh, with that. So I'll have to go into the plugins uh, section of the uh, preferences and then just have, have Ardor scan for, for plugins. And I always have a few on here that just kind of hang things up. Just some, I need to clear out uh, some of the old plugins that I have in this folder that are, that are junk. There we go. So now I should be able to add it to a track. YSFX. Just click add. And now I can use that same load button there at the top of the plugin. Find a plugin I'd like to use. Click OK. And there we have it. So this is a really nice EQ plugin. Um, it has a number of different uh, filter options here. So really handy.
maybe something a little a little fancier than what you have built into some of these programs. So definitely give it a try. These are all free to use, uh, available on on GitHub, and uh, I definitely think the YSFX uh, plugin wrapper is a way to go. Uh, so shout out to the developer of that plugin, and also to uh, Falk TX developer of uh, KX Studio packages for incorporating that into Carla as well. Uh, it's really handy. Anyway, I hope you found this helpful. Uh, feel free to leave a comment. Let me know what you thought of this video. If you find value in these types of videos or you know want to make music and, and other art on Linux, definitely subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in future videos. Six seven one two three four five six seven one two three four five six seven